this one. Cool. Hey guys, uh, Dave Maranakis, Lucky Giles. Uh, just gonna show you guys a follow-on technique from um, the guillotine that we did the other week. Um, so this time, we're gonna look at a different scenario where, I'm gonna start again though in, in the turtle, um, where I've managed to get Lucky's the chin strap here on Lucky. I've pulled his head into the middle, I've joined my hands like so, to my 10 finger guillotine, and I've tried to go for this one. Sometimes, however, the guy's pretty diligent in pushing his head to the side, um, or other times, it's, I just find it really difficult to actually finish the choke here. So to get a tighter choke and a better finish, I'm gonna try and pull his head, his head to the outside. All right, so we're in this position here. I've cupped his chin. Um, I've done all the good stuff that we did last time, so if Lockie was attacking my leg, we've done all of this kind of stuff where I've put my, my shoulder into his, in the middle of his back, sprawled, caught his chin. And this time, I'm gonna look to do a different guillotine, okay? So, um, I'll show you the traditional one first, and then we'll try and fix up a couple of these mistakes, okay? So the first one is, when people like start grabbing their head, pulling it to the outside, and they start just trying to like, and I'm not, I'll normally stand up, people normally stand up to do this, but I'll stay on my knees so you can see. They normally just start to arch their backs and try like, pull the head off here. This is wrong, all right? So, that's the first one. Um, the second one is Lilay and you can jump to the other side, and I'll show you how to fix that in a moment. Um, so, first of all, I've blocked the, the shoulder, caught the chin, put my other hand in front, right here. All right, I've tried to go for my initial one, hasn't worked, so I'm going to pull his head to the outside with my chin strap. So grab the chin, pull it to the outside here, boom. Okay, once I've got that, I'm gonna throw my forearm over his neck. Now I'm gonna do this a few times properly and a few times you'll see incorrectly just so Lucky doesn't you know, get dragged out this whole, this whole video. But I'm gonna cup the chin and as I go over, my forearm does this. Over the top of his shoulder. All right, so really important detail. Just staying, keeping your arms down is wrong because law of Lucky's defense is to throw this arm over the top and then it kills my choke. All I can do is pull on his head all day. All right, so. Up in the chin, join my hands, and as I pull his head to the outside, I'm gonna fall to my, my butt and block his hips and block his shoulders. So it looks like this. Sit out. As I'm coming down, my forearm comes over the top, my foot goes to his hip, and my other foot goes over the top of his back. Right here. We'll do a different angle so you can see the grip in a second. Okay, so again, we're here, blocking the shoulder, cupping the chin, Joining my grip, pulling his head to the outside. I throw my forearm over the top. Okay, really, really important detail. Um, and as I do this, I'm gonna fold my back, my butt, and block his hips so he doesn't jump to the other side, okay? So if I was to do it without blocking his hips, this is what would happen. I start going, and Lockie jumps to the other side, and his head comes out. All right, so we don't want that to happen. Go back here. Trap here, get my grip over the top. And you'll notice that when I do this, it like forces me to, to actually slice his head off, like a guillotine would suggest. Most people try and pull a guillotine, which is wrong. I've got to slice. So, so I throw this one over the top. Look what happens to his neck. Actually, like, chop it off this way. So, we're gonna go boom, over the top, pull my guard. One goes over the top. I'll spin around this way so you guys can just see the finish. So, if you think I'm this way, look. I had everything for me. So the finish looks like this. I've got to this position, and all I'm doing is pushing down with my forearm and pulling up with my hands. Okay, so I'm doing this. This right. Okay. Get here. Be really careful here not to like extend your back and, and go back into pulling mode because the second I start to pull, his head pops straight out the hole. All right. Really big mistake, so don't let that happen. Um, really important also. I'm going to keep his foot on the hip and this one over the back just in case and I won't put the choke on but just so you can see if he tries to jump over to the other side now so like he goes to jump I've got all these defenses here keeping him to this side okay which is what I want I don't want to let him jump all over to this side <laughs> beautiful jump <laughs> all right so one more time one more time in full speed caught the head pull it to the outside Whoa.
very fast submission, very, very effective. Um, just make sure again, you don't arch your back and let the head pop out and that you block that hip so they don't jump to the other side, okay? Thanks very much, guys.